just to me just a little bit and that's about it. So right around there. You keep? Yeah. All right, let's get you some meter sticks. That's, that's the high tide mark for today. Now what we're planning to do is we're planning to see what that high tide mark will be in a hundred years time. And what scientists are saying is that it's going to be one metre higher than it is now, so about three foot. Yeah. So what you guys are going to help us do is mark out what that height might be on this lighthouse. Alright, so Kyle, do you want to stand here and keep this tight? Christopher, do you want to head straight to the lighthouse? The closest point of the lighthouse is that string. But make sure you keep it tight. We're here in Nantucket, about three quarters of the way through our expedition around the Atlantic. Uh, we have been 13 months on the road so far. We're following the one meter contour line around the ocean. That's the high scientists predict sea levels will reach in the next 100 years. And that's what uh, you've marked out here? And this is approximately where it will be. We've also been setting up an educational network between schools found in low-lying coastal communities. So we've got schools in 12 different countries around the Atlantic Ocean. The sort of the key idea behind our network is to get kids working together, to get them talking with each other about issues of climate change, about issues of sea level rise, about general environmental issues, but so that they're doing it directly. It's not a teacher saying, right, you've got to learn this, this and this. It's the kids themselves generating the work, generating the friendships. Okay. Because what children have is they all have similar interests, but they also have very different environmental experiences. So some of the kids in the UK, some of the kids in the USA, for them climate change isn't really an important issue at the moment. But for some of their contemporaries in Brazil, in West Africa, climate change is much more of an immediate concern for them.